G'day viewers. Caught me in the middle of a cuppa. That's okay, we're just getting this locomotive set up ready to go. We are in the BNSF ES 44C4, and if that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is. Okay, let's start showing you around. Hmm, hang on a tick. First thing I want to do is take you outside. Because, what do you do if you want to go to the other locomotive? You can go down there if you want. Or, did you know you can do this? I've seen so many people on streams who go down on the ground. Don't have to. Just drop the chains. Okay. Let's grab some windows. Get some windows open. Let's get her windows open. Because, you know, she's working so hard. Turn her fan on. Now she's got a screen, which is a map screen that would be really, really, really handy if we had it. But we don't. And an emergency brake valve, which you could flip right now and drop all your air, but that would be kind of boring. Over here, we want to turn on our cab signals, otherwise known as the alerter. I like to turn on the, uh, if I can get in there, if I can get in there, come on, let me into the switch. There we go, crosswalk lights, yay. Uh, we've got heaters over here, we don't need to turn those on, do we? All right, good -o. Back to the chair. Jump in. Behind us, we've got contact signaler on the radio. Our train brake is fully released. Our independent brake is fully applied. Our headlights are on dim. We're going to bring those to bright now. We have a horn, a horn sequencer. I will cover that in a moment. We can dump the air down the back of the train if we want to, but that would defeat the purpose of wanting to get going. Bell control, the alerter button, and sand. Over here we've got our dynamic brake levers which help us brake by uh, taking the traction motors, reversing them to be generators and making electricity which it then burns off in grids. And we've got our throttle which has eight notches because it's American. On the dash we've got a bell, a horn, a horn sequencer which won't do anything until we're over 25 miles an hour and the alert of reset. Let's kill that bell, it's annoying. On the right hand screen we've got various controls that you can mess with but we don't need them right now. Let's have a look at the left hand screen. On this one we can see that our independent brake is set to lead and is already ready to go. Our auto brake is cut in and set to freight and ready to go. Our brake pipe is at 82 pounds. The rear of the train is at 82 pounds. Main reservoir is all pumped up at 136. Our brake cylinder in this locomotive is 72. That's because the independent brake is fully applied. You can see our throttle is in idle, our reverser is centered, and we are not making any power right now. So let's turn a few things on. Gauge lights, always got gauge lights. Let's turn on our generator field. Now you'll notice that the uh, engine run and the control are already on. This is prototypical. This is because real railway people have been involved in the creation this time which is really really good okay let's plonk whoops hang on before we do anything else banking com turn that on by pressing the ptt button banking com is a poor man's dpu distributed power unit and what it does is it copies everything you do on these controls and your brakes to the rear of the train Okay, let's set the reverse of the forwards. Big honk on the horns. Let's apply a bit of power. So notch three will probably be good enough. There we go, notch three. When we see it starting to make some effort, which it now is, we can see that on the HUD and the train. Now we can release our independent brake. Why do we do it that way? It stops us rolling away, because you notice we're on a gradient going uphill. There we go. Now, the rear of the train is now moving, so all of our couples are nicely stretched out. That happened fairly quickly because we stopped on the gradient. A competent engineer stopped the train. We'll just let this build up a little bit more speed. And then we'll notch up a little. I like to get it to 10 if I can. And let's bring it up. Notch 5 will be fine. Let's 
we don't want to go too fast, we're in a yard. We've got a 35 mile an hour speed limit here. Did I turn my fan on? No, no wonder it's hot. You've got your uh, liking controls up here if you want them. There's wiper controls. You can uh, make it go and make it not go. Very exciting. You can dim your light brightness or make your lights brighter. Whatever makes you happy. You can dim your, your uh, gauge lights too. Actually, no, I take that back, you can't. It's hopeful for a moment there. All right, when we get over 25 mile an hour, I will show you the horn sequencer because by that point, we're probably at about the right time to blow it for the crossing. If you hit the horn sequencer and you're doing 25, 30 mile an hour-ish, um, there's the alerter, let's acknowledge that. Next time that happens, I won't acknowledge it because I want to show you what it does. I want to show you how to recover from it. But uh, if you hit it at the whistleboard, which is a sign with a W on it, if you whack the horn sequencer anywhere between about 25 to 30 odd mile an hour, um, it will play at the correct duration for the crossing. So you don't have to do the big long, long, short, long if you don't want to. Now, it just keeps repeating it. So if you got into one of those nightmare situations like Caltrain where there's 10,000 crossings, well, just hit the button at the start of the run and leave it on. It's, you know, fun. So we're driving along in our monster. We're coming up on the whistleboard now. We should see it in a moment. Now, the ES44C4 is an interesting unit in that if it starts to slip, it will lift its centre axle so that it gets more grip because that's putting more weight on the outer wheels and the bogey. Here we go, here's our W board. So let's whack the horn sequencer. Long. Long. Short. Notice the cars actually stopped and waited for the train. All right, to turn it off again, you just press the horn button and press the bell button to kill the annoying bell. Now we're going to wait for the alerter to go again because I want to show you what happens. So we're pleasantly powering along. Yeah, it's been a long shift, starting to fall asleep at this console. And my erstwhile good helper over there, who is as helpful as she ever is comes out of TSW2. Much nicer face now. There's good character faces in TSW3. It's a much more human face. I quite enjoy the changes that have been done there. But, you know, I've started to fall asleep. Dropping off. Dropping off. She doesn't notice. She should be waking me up. It's part of her job. Those coupling and uncoupling, managing the manifests, doing all those sorts of things is part of her job. Ooh, train! Here we go, here comes the alerter. Now I'm not going to acknowledge it because I've fallen asleep. And you notice it's just applied the brakes. It's doing a service application of the brakes. So it's not an emergency application. It's not dumping all the air. And it's also cut off my throttle. So the throttle handles haven't moved. Now you've got no choice but to wait until you come to a complete stop. But in the meantime, we can get ready. Let's cut our throttles back. Our dovetail have been very nice to us, by the way. They don't let us into the stop position because that turns your engine off. So we're gradually coming down to a stop here. The brakes have got a, a nice application on them. It's not a heavy application by any means. It's just an application. And we're coming to a stop. That bloke's laughing at us because we're coming to a stop. All right, now that we have, I like to put my brakes on. You don't really have to. Reset the alerter. Put on your independent brake. Release your train brake just to stop you rolling away. Compressor whoop. Whoa, good noises. All right. 
Now we know they're pumping back up quite happily. We can see the rear of the trains coming up as well. Front of the trains at 85, rears at 74. They'd be at about the point that the brakes are releasing down there. So it's pretty safe to do this. Remember, gentle. And we wait for the power to come up again. And release our independent brake. Gotta love that compressor wool. So missed it in the other trains. And away we go again. Now we can kill Beelzebub. Because we don't need him, do we? And there's our alerter again already. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's still playing outside the train. Uh-oh. Oh well, that's life. I shall report that. Anyway, that's about all we need to cover in this one. 